us keep in mind the gravity of abortion, let us reflect for a few moments on the deep wounds that abortion causes in the lives of millions of people, in addition to the tragic loss of innocent human life. And so to proceed, picture a drama, as it were, in, in three different scenes. Scene one, an 80-year-old woman sees a brochure at the back of her church announcing a program for reconciliation and counseling for persons who have been involved in abortion. She calls the hotline listed on the brochure and seeks assistance with coping for guilt from an abortion she had 60 years previously and had never sought help. Scene two, a 22-year-old college man continues to struggle with ramification of the abortion of his unborn child that took place just two years ago. He really did not want the abortion, but it did seem to solve a lot of immediate problems. <coughs> And besides, he felt it was best to support his girlfriend in whatever she decided to do. Now he finds himself unable to make decisions about his future. He has isolated himself from many social contacts. Frequently, he is awakened by dreams of a drowning child. and he wonders whether he will ever father another child. Scene three. A 31-year-old single professional woman had an abortion when she was in college. She made this choice against her own beliefs and values in order to prevent the pain that her pregnancy would have brought to her parents and family. The pregnancy, of course, would also have presented an obstacle to her own career plans. But now, her guilt and sorrow over the abortion are at times overwhelming. Yet to talk about the abortion now, to her family and friends would just make the death of her child seem futile. She has difficulty spending time around her nieces and nephews without being moved to tears. She wonders what her own child would have been like at their ages. She knows that her behavior is confusing to her family but she is afraid to be honest with them. Though here I have used fictitious examples, they aptly describe the wounds that millions of people carry. And so as we engage in this important campaign of 40 days for life, let us pray for the end of abortion. Let us pray for God's mercy. Let us pray for God's healing. And so let us turn to God, our Father, the author of life with our prayers as we pray our Father. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, 